What's up, guys? Welcome to the TMG Podcast. This is actually today's, today's episode. F- today's free episode. Ah. But if you want uh, the bonus episode that went up today as well, you can find that on our Patreon. That's patreon.com slash tinymeatgang, and uh, the, the free episode will be ad-free as well on there. So, uh, And if not, thanks, and enjoy this one. Peace. Peace. All right. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> little Halloween laugh there to start it off. Yeah, yeah. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Jerking. You jerking your ween? Yeah, I'm jerking my Mark weens. Yeah? Yeah. Have any of you recently <laughs> been jerking your ween to AOC, perhaps? We have a we have a we have a bomb on that bigger than than Pokemon. <laughs> Surpri- and what is it? Surprise, she has a boyfriend. Uh-oh. Every every dude. Oh fuck. Every dude. That's left was like, AOC has a boyfriend. <laughs> oh. Heading straight to that Republican ballot. <laughs> They're like, what a bitch, dude. What? She never told us. What the fuck? We've been we've been fucking donating to her. Dude, what the fuck? I was so my wife got so mad at me because I sold our car and we donated it to her future campaign as yeah, president. Yeah, dude. And I'm like, uh, I, g- hello. I gifted 500 subs during her Among Us stream. <laughs> just, just for what? <laughs> to be treated like this? <laughs> yeah, she's got a BF. I have to call Kyle on this. Kyle was like, there's a there's a reason they don't they don't tell anyone this shit. <laughs> <laughs> you, oh, but you know people are upset. We just upset so many dudes right yeah. now. <laughs> Yeah, she has a boyfriend. <laughs> I thought you. Hey, you thought me eating ruined your Saturday? <laughs> yeah, yeah, happy Saturday, motherfucker. <laughs> wow, twenty twenty is really ruined. fucked. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the coronavirus. Yeah, AOC has a boyfriend. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, bro, that dude. I thought I had a shot. Bro, I mean, I can't believe she's dating a redditor. She really is. This guy. What's this guy's name? Riley Roberts. Riley Roberts. Ugh. Sounds like a fucking... Mod of the World News subreddit. Sounds like a stepsister underwear detective. (laughs) 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 Nice. (laughs) Yeah. Bro, that beard is strong. Yeah. It's like at least 100 hours on World of Warcraft. Yeah. (laughs) Minimum, dog. They don't Uh. even... and, And he doesn't even hold her hand in public in true Redditor style, man. This is... Some shit. How do you think they met? What's the story? Let's look it up. Um, What's he do besides mod some of the world's the f- most popular subreddits? Yeah, and and modify computers. <laughs> 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 I can't believe this guy is defined as AOC's boyfriend. <laughs> Bruh. Hold on. What is this now? Yeah, at least he's tall. How tall is AOC? Um. Okay. ALC height. ALC height. Oh, she's 5'4". Oh, okay, so maybe not. Then. <laughs> yeah, so, no, no, no. Our so based, based on this picture, okay, hold on. She got her little heels on. So that's like what? Two? Yeah. Three inches? Yeah. So 5'6", five, 5'7". Five, he's, probably, he's probably six feet, maybe. I think he's like 5'10", five, 5'11". Five, okay. Still? So we have a shot. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All the fucking dudes right now are figuring it out. Okay, okay, okay. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Yeah. It's good, it's good. He's got red hair? Okay, okay. Yeah, 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 I, yeah. I know that's the one thing. She's like, she's with a ginger? Yeah. She's with a translucent dude. Yeah. That is... <laughs> she may have a boyfriend, but... He looks like me, so... <laughs> I guess you're saying I have a chance. <laughs> Bruh. This, this dropped this year. They recently got a dog together. Wow. This is creepy that we're doing this. Yeah, it's super creepy. And I feel bad too. I mean, yeah. Bullying this guy's random dude. I know. I know. He didn't <laughs> if, ask for if this. They're, what if they're really happy, you know? Yeah. I don't know how you could be happy with a ginger, but I'm, I'm, kidding, I'm, kidding, I'm, kidding. I'm joking. I bet they're happy and I bet. Uh, just kidding to all the gingers out there. My first girlfriend ever was a ginger. All right? Yeah. So there you go. <laughs> I got nothing against them. Yeah. But um you couldn't tell anyone at, at the time because you know 
dating a ginger is like Salem witch trials. Oh stuff. yeah, yeah. Like, I, you can't let anyone. No, know. of course not. Yeah, no, no, no. we dated in secret. Yeah, they set you on fire. Oh, if yeah, they find yeah, out yeah. you have a ginger yeah, yeah. <laughs> partner. Oh yeah, <laughs> can't have a ginger significant other. Every ginger right now is like, what the fuck, dude? <laughs> I'm trying to figure it. I looked up his job. Uh, you know, I didn't get an immediate result because I don't read. This is so good. Job, parents, religion, AOC, height. <laughs> Just this AOC. Is all the shit that everyone Googles. Okay. Well, that's good to know. He's supportive. He's supportive of AOC. Good, 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 good. <laughs> Dude, he's like full, like just full Redditor and just, I don't know why you're like in politics. <laughs> Takes way too much time away from me. I need sandwiches <laughs> and gamer cookies, babe. <laughs> gamer cookies? What's a gamer cookie? Um, You know, like that little TikTok where the girl like, you saw that? She takes the wrist Oh, yeah, right, right. Oh, like, right, right, right. She puts, like, right, 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 right. healthy toothpaste yeah, on yeah, it. Yeah, and he's like, little mayonnaise on, yeah. the, on the fucking yeah. Ritz cracker. Yeah. Here, and, babe. And then he goes, mm. Mayonnaise with sprinkles on it. Yeah. Mmm. <laughs> Gamer cookie. <laughs> dude, I fucking saw the funniest TikTok yesterday. It's what? This dude nuzzling up to his girlfriend, like, you know, like, in her neck. Yeah. And she goes, she goes, aw. And he goes, I love my mommy. <laughs> she's so She's filming it, and he's and she's like, "Yeah, do you?" He's like, "Yeah, I love my mommy so much." And then he looks up and sees the phone. He's like, "Yo, yo!" And he gets up. He's like, "What are you doing?" And she's she's like, "What?" He's like, "You can't film that." My my my, like, my boys don't know that I like talk to you like that. Is it? You think it's real or it's fake? It kind of seemed like it was fake, but at the same time, they acted it really well. And okay, okay. Like it just it was so funny. That's. That's funny because I I have a running bit where anytime Alina does tells me to do something that's good for me or does something nice for me, I go, thanks, mom. Yeah, yeah. She goes, don't do that. Yeah. She's like, I don't want to be your mom. <laughs> I'm like, all right, mom. She's oh, like, what, love you, mommy. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much, mommy. <laughs> I love you, mom. Uh, <laughs> Yo! <laughs> the camera. Yeah, you can't uh. film that. <laughs> that sounds real. It sounds real. Yo, a, yo, you can't film that, dude. <laughs> Wait, hold up. Uh, Distinct features internet roast him. How do they know Five this? feet 11. You nailed it. What Holy can I hell, say, dude. Man? What can I say? You nailed it. His weight was listed as 178 pounds. 81 kilograms. After the release of Knock Down the House in May in 2019, Twitter had a, quote, field day over Robert's looks. A UK-based political reporter... Disrespected his scruffy appearance in the documentary. Called him a bin raccoon. What the fuck is that? Uh, you know, trash panda. That's that's the American version. It's like a raccoon. Mm. Which, you know, they go diving for trash. I really don't think that's good. Bin raccoon sounds like an insult. It's, I mean, it's an insult, but I don't think it's very good. Like you know, oh, you don't think it's a good insult? Nah. Or you don't think this guy is a bin yeah. bin raccoon? Like there are people that are bin raccoons. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. I this just, guy's probably not one of them. I, he doesn't fit me as... No, no, no Wi-Fi reception in the bin. Nah. You know? <laughs> it, if I, I'm just thinking now, English people get away... Like, if an American says bin raccoon, it's not good. Uh -huh. Like, English people are just like... They're like... The English accent is the, you know, RE camera of accents, you know? Uh -huh. You could shoot dog shit on an RE, but as long, you know, as long as it's an RE, it's yeah. like... It's beautiful. And it always ends up being a good thing. Yeah. Like, you know, every insult is good. Yeah. You know, someone yeah. calls you like a fucking cunt. You're like, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> like, wow. Hey. I've never had anyone talk to me like that. Yeah. <laughs> That's. Geez. You bloody bin raccoon. <laughs> you grafting? <laughs> Are you grafting? Are you grafting me, mate? Are you grafting me, mate? Oh fucking! Yeah. How did I forget? How did yeah. I forget this? Yeah, let's <laughs> shout out to the boy Carrington. Shout out to Carrington from Love from Love Island. Island. You know, you never think you're. We're so removed from the fucking show. You know, mm -hmm. these people are isolated on an island, so we just talk shit. Mm -hmm. And then afterwards, they get out and they see it. <laughs> so they fucking message us. I had Carrington message me, and it was a it was a video on Instagram of him watching That's Cringe. He was watching the horse one. Yeah, and he was laughing at it. And then the caption said. Um, said something about it. it was like love you guys like y'all are so funny even though and then my my broken screen cut it off so i couldn't read it oh. so i was like i was like lameo like what did we say and he just said he just said nah i just said i love you guys even though noel called me a fish with teeth <laughs> well he hit me up this morning <laughs> and, 
<laughs> and he's like, and he was like, you didn't say anything though. So like, no, no it's like whatever. But I love your guys' humor. I have the same sense of humor. So it was Liddy to see that. Yeah. He hit me up this morning. Uh, um, I said, Cody told me you heard all my roasting, so now I got to own it. He said, I thought it was funny as hell. I always watch TMG. Ha ha. Nice. Let me just say, hey, you should come on the podcast, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. That'd be fun. Well, so I asked him, I said, you move, are you in LA? And he said, no, nah, I'm in Utah, but I'm going to look at spots in LA thinking about moving there. And I'm like, dude, everyone's leaving, bro. Everyone's going to Utah. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone. What do you mean? Yeah. Wrong direction. Yeah. I mean, no, nah, dude, I, sorry, go ahead. No, this whole scenario just gave me an idea for like, um, a, po a separate podcast where we confront everyone we've ever trashed on a reality TV show. Mm. You know, it's been a while. I feel like it's easy to like you get you provide the context up front. It's like there's like a twenty minute, fifteen minute prologue where you and I kind of bounce back and explain what the fuck. And then for forty five minutes, you know, like we get we get Mackenzie from Love Island and be like, "Hey, oh, who was that again? The, the one I called crazy. She was. Oh, Mackenzie. Oh, the blonde yeah, one. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. She, I mean, she literally is crazy. Yeah. We just create a train wreck out of that. Yeah. <laughs> We bring like her call her crazy on the air? Yeah, her and Connor. No, we don't call her crazy on the air. Be... They're dating now. I know. Oh, I know. Like super dating. I know. She, there must be something. <laughs> she must have something for that dude to just walk off television and be like, I love you, I love you, I love you. I Like straight to her. <laughs> like he was hypnotized. Yeah, but it's because he like wasn't experienced. Titmatized, nice. Yeah. Gorilla gripnotized. Yeah, yeah, gripnotized. <laughs> That's what it is when you got that fucking wet, that 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 wet wet, gripnotized. That's when you get guys Gorilla going gripnotized. That's when you get guys going. I love mommy. I love my mommy. Yeah. Do you? Do you? Yeah. I love my, my mommy, mommy so much. <laughs> I love mommy's go will will grip. No. <laughs> I love when mommy puts a go will will grip on me. <laughs> they they're they're actually perfect together. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, I'm going through their Instagram pictures. I'm like, fucking, this makes so much sense. I mean, they yeah. look, they legitimately look so happy. Yeah, he's just a submissive guy. Yeah, he that's is. fine. She's yeah. a she's a dominant woman. dominant kind of crazy woman. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm not saying dominant women are crazy. I'm saying she's a mix of both, and so it weirdly works. It killed me how when he gets nervous, he couldn't find enough moisture to talk. Yeah. I always felt like the, um, and this is a funky ass thing to say, but I don't care. I always felt like his his mouth was disproportionate to his face. Okay, like he'd always be licking his lips, he'd like, but he had like the like the tongue of like a Shih Tzu. Like it was just like so, you know what I'm saying? Like he couldn't moisturize his yeah, mouth yeah, yeah, to talk yeah. to her when yeah. he get nervous. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he'd always be like, I just think, yeah. <laughs> Stop! You're you're ruining people's Saturdays. Oh, sorry, <laughs> they're not even listening anymore. The headphones are crushed after knowing that AOC has a dude. A picture and a dude hearing that and just taking his fucking AirPods out and just throwing them at the yeah, wall. Yeah, yeah, skull candy. Yes. Yeah, skull... <laughs> what the fuck happened to skull candy? Um, they're still around. Yeah, yeah, they're in gas stations. Um, but absolutely, we should get Carrington on the podcast. Yeah, and because shout out to shout out to you. I yeah. mean, regardless, the season, like, which is what I told him, the season was really fun to watch. Yeah. And they made it fucking great. No, they did. You know did. what I'm saying? It's like after the show, you don't really care if someone was... <clears throat> and he wasn't even that shitty. I mean, he's. I think he's still dating that girl. No, he is. Yeah, he is. And he was like, by the end of it, you get you see what kind of dude he was. You're like, oh, he's just... He's not an idiot. He's just straight up. Yeah. Like, he's just that comfortable that he's like, yeah, I'm exotic. But it's weird how after the show, when, when they're back in just a normal life... Mm-hmm. How, you know, where everything isn't under a lens anymore. Yeah. You're kind of like, oh, yeah, these people aren't, these people are actually more normal than I thought. Like, seeing Connor and Mackenzie together now, I'm like, yeah, that makes sense. And even when on the show, I was like, this fucking is the yeah. last relationship that should exist. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's crazy. It's, it's actually sure wild. How all much... of us would look crazy. Yeah. Yeah. No, I mean, it's all editing. And mm. I'm sure the producers are like, hey. Yeah. She said, yeah. he said. That being said, though, Mackenzie actually is crazy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not I backing got, down from that. Hey, everybody. Uh, MeUndies believes that comfort is a 
about more than what's touching your skin. It's about feeling comfortable in your skin. You're a total badass. <laughs> And what you wear should only accentuate that fact. Me Undies truly believes in empowering self-expression. Their pledge for 2020 and beyond is called Me Undies Gives. It's an initiative that supports those who have systemic barriers to their self-expression. By shopping Me Undies, you support causes such as LGBTQ plus communities, mental health and well-being, and women's rights. That's right, baby. I I wear I wear them every single day. I have a drawer full of them because they've sent me a thousand and I wear every single pair. Honestly, the ones I went for two days ago, I opened the drawer and I was like, should I go dinosaurs or should I go hearts? And I it was like kind of feeling more of a dinosaur vibe, you know? Dino boy. Yeah, so I had to go dinosaur and I felt good all day. <laughs> how much more fun would it be uh, having right now? How much more fun would you be right now having if your undies were covered in pandas or sushi rolls, let's say? Yeah. Don't you think you just feel a little bit more like you? <laughs> well, MeUndies uh, offers classic colors to ridiculous prints, and they're available in a range of sizes from XS to 4XL. Yeah. Uh, MeUndies believes you and your butt deserve comfort inside and out, which is why they created the MeUndies membership. It's really just a great way to love yourself each month, replenish your basics oh, with styles that are anything but basic. And MeUndies has a great offer for our listeners right now. Any first-time purchasers, you're going to get 15% off and free shipping, okay? MeUndies also has their problem-free philosophy. If you're not satisfied with any product for any reason, they'll refund or exchange it. No caveats, no questions. Get 15% off your first order and free shipping. Go to MeUndies.com slash TMG. That is MeUndies.com slash TMG. I got such a nasty DM over that shit. What did they say? It was like, you're a... This and you probably endorse cheating. Connor cheated on her at Castle Moore, and you probably tell your friends okay. I was like, man, what? Yeah, yeah, we yeah we we're, we're big cheating endorsers. Yeah, bro, we we, we like to endorse cheating publicly. I was yeah, like, that's, I was like, guys, guys, you know, <laughs> real guys, guys. Tim Heidecker. <laughs> you let's talk about that. Yeah, well, I just I just had to say, I don't know how you could watch that and not objectively think. Oh man, this this girl got a screw loose. I know. I don't know how you don't think that. Yeah, I it, mean, it, she was manipulative. Yeah, extremely. That's the thing. Yeah, yeah. Any anyone who's who's like that, I feel like there's a certain part of their brain that's like you know maybe it's something about being like a narcissist or something. Yeah, where you see parts of people that you can take advantage of and you do it. Yeah, even though you're maybe you're not even realizing you're doing it. Maybe it's just. Just how you are. Yeah, I kind of feel like really manipulative people because we're watching The Vow on HBO. Did I tell you about that show? No. It's about Nixium, the Nexium, the sex cult. Oh. The guy literally oh, just oh, got. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. I wanted to start that. Yeah, dude, it's unfucking believable. Yeah, yeah. Don't tell me. Yeah, it's, I won't yeah. tell you anything about it. But the yeah, guy, yeah. the guy just got convicted. It's like super recent, right? Yeah. Like over the last three years, the guy just got convicted yesterday. Mm. There was a there was like a uh, NBC like tweet or whatever. Sick. Um, but. Yeah, so we're watching this, and since it happened so recent, there's like so much footage because the guy, the guy had a filmer there, and anytime he did Document anything, anything. Yeah. 24 seven, he had a filmer with him, so you get to see everything that he did, right? And so you get to see him manipulating people live, In real time. and I, I always think like people like that, do they just have a moment where they're, where they're, when they're younger, where they'd say something, maybe off the cuff, they're like, I'll just try this, they say something, and the person, you know, goes, yeah, I'll do that for you, and they're like, wait. Yeah, this I, that works. What worked? Yeah. That little thing? Yeah. It's like a little secret formula. Now I can just use that over and over again to take advantage of people and have them do things for me. I think that's actually like an actual, I know the word sociopath is thrown out, uh, around a lot. I feel like that's a genuine sociopath trait. Yeah. To realize that you can control people. And so you use your charm to do that. Yeah. Or to get what you want kind yeah. of thing. But yeah, yeah. It could be a narc thing. I don't know. But yeah. <laughs> Uh, I, I meant to bring that up when we were first talking about Love Island. That was just, I don't know. Was, anyway. Which? It's just, the, the message was was wild. Oh, like, that DM. I'm pretty sure it was Mackenzie's burner. Like, yeah, that's, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> this big, a non-profile. <laughs> yeah, she's like, I'll have you know, actually, yeah. he was shitty to me. Yeah. I mean, Mackenzie. Yeah, yeah. That's, I mean, that's not, now that I'm thinking about it, that's completely... <laughs> <laughs> like, it was just a Mackenzie stand. <laughs> just going off on me. <laughs> I'm surprised they didn't hit me with a full paragraph. And they're like, anyway, Stan Kenzie, and then just like 80 <laughs> fan cams of McKenzie. Those fan cams for everything, dude. I know. It it's is wild. 
We we can get the Tim Heidecker thing in a second, but uh-huh. goddamn, I've I saw a fan cam the other day that just had me like, I thought <laughs> was it? I mean, I thought Formula was it for? I thought Formula One drivers was like the peak of. There's no, I can't remember, but it's it was something that just had me like. There, there's a good one that someone sent me a while back, an ironic fan cam of the fucking Formula One safety car. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the one that like tags behind? No, it's yeah, or like like if there's like a crash or something, it like pulls out in front <laughs> that's and like so random. Yeah, it, I don't know. It, it killed me. It was like stand that's safety really, car. That's really funny. <laughs> it's like fuck. That's really funny. The Tokyo Drift song. And it's, yeah. it's, it's, oh, that's good. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, dog. That's so good. And, anyway, so Tim Heidecker. Yeah. So we brought it up last time on the bonus episode because we watched the trailer, right? Yeah. So he did an hour long stand-up special mm-hmm. of purposely bad comedy. Yeah. Intentionally awful comedy. Yeah. An hour long. And I'm pretty sure he toured it too. Because there was a lot of people in the comments that were like, oh my God, I saw this act in so-and-so city. Holy. And it was so funny. And so there, I mean, I was, that's the one thing I was thinking the whole time when he was saying stuff. I said, I know this dude is crazy enough to commit to this so that there's truth to some of this. What do you mean? When he's, like, when he said, Oh, I've toured this all over the globe and or all the country, and it's yeah. tried and proven material, and I know it works. And I thought, I bet he's done this before. <laughs> I mean, you think about because I told it to Matt last night. He was like, Matt was like, no way. And I was like, but you think about, and it's a, it's essentially an hour long sketch. It is. You don't just memorize that over the course of a weekend. You nah. have to do it over and over and over and over and over again yeah. to do anything for an hour long and yeah. have it be bang on exactly how you want it to be. Yeah. Yeah. And Bruh. what like what other what other way would be better than actually touring it? He can make some money and I mean he must have. I mean I've I've heard all kinds of stories of Tim just doing live comedy and, and committing. You Dude. know I I remember reading, I'm not exaggerating, five six years ago about him doing singing open mic shit like with a guitar and people going, yeah he was like not nice he was really rude and got mad at people for not taking his shit seriously and talking during his set. And it just makes me all think like, oh, was that That's for a, this? Uh, yeah, probably. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like he's just testing it out. Yeah. Say, okay, I'm, I'm going to do this well, character. Yeah. Well, there's there's YouTube sketches. There's videos of him. It's called Tim Heidecker Goes to Lunch With, and I forget the other guy's name, but he's a comedian. Mm-hmm. What the fuck was he in? He's famous. But he's wearing that same scumbag comedy guy outfit, the leather jacket over like the shirt with the jeans <clears throat> yeah tim and gelson ha- gelman have lunch but this is from seven years ago he's been doing this character for so long and like the thing is none of these videos have that many likes because people don't really get it because it's oh, like super real oh, it's just like oh, them both dude. being shitty comedians oh okay I'll... views from people who have seen it are just nuts for it you've been doing flying stuff how long Ooh, well when's february that's like three months ago yeah. so i've been doing it for like a year I set it up like this. I say, um, listen, I don't want to get bombed. I get it. I understand why there's so much security. Right. But between the shoes and the taking your computer and the liquids, it's like, I want to go on vacation, but I don't want to rip up my constitution at the same time. Interesting, interesting. That's funny. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> it's just this. And there's like six of them. Okay. All right. Yeah. So this is, yeah, he's had this. Yeah. For a really long time. Yeah. Oh, here, so I look. think he finally just said, okay, I'm going to do this. I'm going to really commit and do this. 12 years ago. This is 07. He's in that same fit. <laughs> He's been really... So we, maybe we're just not in the know. Like we, yeah. I'm not... I love Tim and Eric, but I'm not like a super fan. Like when I... You know, Kelsey and I's first date was at a Tim and Eric yeah. show. Yeah. And we walked in and dude, people were wearing, you know, the most niche... Uh, jokes on their t-shirt oh, okay. that did not make sense to us at all okay. but you know some deep cut from like some early mm-hmm. Tim and Eric sketches mm-hmm. and everyone there you could tell had been to like every single show hell yeah and we were just kind of lost but I fucking love these guys <laughs> anyways definitely watch this special yeah people. yeah the yeah it's like an hour what is it let's get the title right man an evening with Tim Heidecker yeah <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that one part where he just goes into the benefits of E Trade, dude, <laughs> and he goes, and the best part is there's still people on a merit trade. It's like yeah, you don't you don't get any of those features, and then he just moves on to the next fucking thing. And you know, it's like there's people that still use 
Ameritrade, <laughs> even though they don't get those features. <laughs> anyway, yeah, and it goes on to the dog. Yeah, bro, yeah. D- dude, I love like it's like what I was saying last time. You know, like a I, I think I said it last time, just a super literal stand up special. Uh, fuck. What is it? Did I, did I mention this last time? Like when me and Cash did that hike, I was saying it'd be funny if someone did a super literal stand up special. I went to the gym the other day. That's it. Just went to the gym. Yeah. Then I went home. It's just like, you just like, you just drag it out for way too long. Yeah, like there's yeah. no punchline yeah, ever. Yeah, You're just yeah. like, oh, this guy's just talking about his day. Like he did that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's he- like I made a smoothie. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And here's the thing. The protein that I use, it's chocolate flavored. It doesn't really taste like chocolate. It tastes like fake chocolate, you know? It doesn't doesn't taste real. It tastes more like chemicals than anything else. And so I drink this thing, and I'm full for, like, the whole day. Because the protein, <laughs> just but like, I have to get enough protein. Like, I'm tracking my macros, and so it says I have to get 100 grams of protein. Like premise after <laughs> yeah, premise it's building after up, premise. It's building up to something the whole time. <laughs> That's kind of what happens in a lot oh, of this dog, one, too. That, that, that final joke. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh my goodness, bro. Oh my goodness, man. I was hysterical. Yeah. I couldn't <laughs> We won't ruin it, but we'll we'll say he like fucks up the joke like multiple times. And since he's filming a special, he just he goes, We good? You guys are, okay, shut up. And he tells the audience to shut up so he can refilm the he can re like take the joke. And then the audience laughs again, he gets all mad at them because he's like, How's that gonna cut? It's not gonna cut, okay? It's nothing's funny about what I'm saying right now. It's really good. <laughs> just watch it. He he just does that. He does that character so good. Like yeah, it's just, everything down to the facial expressions and the way he like. It's such talks good is, meta, bro. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, <clears throat> Tim Heidecker. Uh, pff, the hell is I gonna say? Put uh, put on my little music thing this week. See if everybody hates it. Oh, are you putting it out this week? <laughs> yeah. What when? Friday. Nice. I mean, it's all like centered around this fucking insane visual that I fucking, I don't know. That thing is, I'm going to be paying for that one for a minute. Did Troy cut it? Yeah, yeah. Troy cut it. Nice. Shout out to Troy. Well, so what? A new video will have come out by now. Yeah. Is that coming out today? By this comes, by the time this comes out, it it may have been out already. Okay. So maybe tomorrow? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So that was a fucking experience as well. Yeah. Yeah, so we can talk about it. Yeah, if it's out. I think so. So, excuse me. Just the the call was a lot longer than what l- went on. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, yeah. I, it it made me feel like if we did another one in person, we could just fuck around because she wouldn't uh, she wouldn't be offended. Yeah, so I think that was something. I think we were both like a little bit like, oh, we don't want to be rude to her. Yeah, because we are for, like for the first like twenty minutes. Yeah, but then we kind of got into it. And then, and she, I mean, she broke the ice. Yeah. She did, by the way, we did a tarot card reading for anyone who hasn't seen it yet. Yeah, we did a tarot card reading. But it was like over the phone with this woman. Yeah. That, that does it. And she was hilarious. Yeah, dude. And we kind of fucked with her at the beginning. And then she was like really serious about the tarot card stuff. So then we were like, okay, let's Mm -hmm. not fuck with her. But then she started fucking with us a little bit. And then it got loose and it got super funny. Yeah. I mean, dude, like she, uh, uh. I, I, what I loved about her was when we hit her up, like when I hit her up for, to do the first video, she goes, you know, Alina says, oh, we're, we're going to put you on video. Is that okay? She said, yeah, I'm confident in my skills. I love that line from her. I'm yeah. confident in my skills. Yeah. She didn't ask where it's going. She didn't ask for a link. <laughs> didn't care. <laughs> this shit could have been for HBO. She didn't care. <laughs> she said, and it's good for my business. Yeah. And she, or she said, and then originally... Originally, I, I wanted to do it in person. And she said, ah, COVID, I'm, I'm not comfortable. She said, but that's a cute idea. <laughs> like just filming a tarot card video. I was, I was a little bit offended. I was like, oh, it's, it's a little bit condescending. Oh, it's a cute little idea. Oh, cute little, yeah, it's a little bit nice little, what, a little video? Yeah. For your little channel? Yeah. So I said, oh, okay, we'll put you in the hot seat. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> and then she said, I don't care. I'm confident in my skills. And then, yeah, just the whole... <clears throat> The it, the one thing that I feel we missed out of the experience was seeing the cards. I think that's a big one. Yeah, having because them. She, and, 
yeah, go out them, in front of you. Yes. So you can see, because they're visually, they're like <sighs> scary. Scary. Yeah, I was going to say crazy or stunning, or, but they're scary. They're just straight up. Some of them makes are, me scared. Some of them are horny as fuck, though. You, really? That Two of Cups card with the girl crying, I was like, that's like, that's a little, yeah. It's a little horny. Yeah, yeah. The Two Cups of Wine behind her, she's in the lingerie. She's two like, cups, oh. one, Two Cups, One Girl. Yeah, Two Cups, One Girl. Yeah. <laughs> she's, she's like running her hands through her hair. Yeah. It's like, it's like, it's like just under cheek. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, well, that. It's the horny card. That's a, that's a horny ass card yeah, right yeah. there. Yeah, you've, wait a minute. You've been horny online. Yeah. Are you commenting on TikToks, yeah. mister? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> and then the sun card, that dude was ripped. Yeah. And, oh, you haven't seen the next edit. Oh, wait, did you guys edit the cards over the. Yeah, the, so yeah, the next round came out. Yeah. Oh, I, I, I started it. I saw like the first, it had titles and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so I had it. I didn't watch far enough. The sun card is ripped. Hers is ripped. Okay. Honey, 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 honey. What is honey? These <sighs> days, it feels like online shopping is the only shopping we really do. That's, <laughs> that's where today's sponsor, Honey, comes in. It's the free browser extension that scours the internet for promo codes and automatically tests them when you're checking out. And... If it doesn't find any, then it it ejects bees from the yeah. <laughs> <fucking> screen. <laughs> and you get covered in bees. Honey yeah. is like getting covered in 500,000 bees and not getting stung. That's yeah. what it feels like, honestly. Because yeah. you're online shopping and and you're like, oh man, should I be buying this? Should I be? And then all of a sudden it finds a discount. And you're like, I feel like the luckiest person in the world right now. That's all it does. <laughs> you add it to your browser. It Every time you buy something online, it just... Uh, it goes, finds all the discount codes and then it automatically applies them. It fucking takes two clicks to install. Yeah. It's easy as hell. Yeah. And they've saved over 17 million members over $2 billion in savings. Okay. That's two <laughs> Kanye's worth of savings. Uh, Honey supports all kinds of retailers from tech, gaming sites, uh, to fashion brands and even food delivery. All right. It's simple. You got a computer, you, you know, honey, you should be on it. Um, it's free and it works with whatever browser you choose. You can try for free today at joinhoney.com slash TMG. You know the drill, guys. Joinhoney.com slash TMG. That's the other thing with tarot cards. You can get all different kinds of cards, mm. man. The ones that uh, we had, you know, they looked like an optical illusion book or something. Mm -hmm. You know, <laughs> everyone was like 2D and it looked like they were drawn by like a three-year-old. The ones that, oh yeah, the, <laughs> well, the ones that she was sending us, those were hard as hell. Yeah, yeah. All t-shirts. All could have been merch. Oh, 100%. <laughs> We should do that. Just rip tarot cards for merch. Every time we do a video like this, we should drop merch yeah. specific to the fucking video <laughs> and be like, yo, new, new tarot card merch <laughs> for all the people that are fucking with the video. Like it's like, you know, major <laughs> fucking <laughs> some rooster teeth shit. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. Uh, um, yeah, but okay. So when we were doing it, I was really scared, right? Yeah. Really scared because like, for example, we, we were walking down the boardwalk with with our friends like two years ago. Yeah. And we were walking in front of those apartments that are in front of the paddle ball, paddle ball courts sort of. And, or no, they're right by like that, that that new sneaker store where like the Freak Museum used to be on, on the Venice boardwalk. Anyways, there's some apartments right there and there's a palm reader uh -huh. that lives in there and she like does her business like right on the balcony because it goes straight to the boardwalk. Got it. And so we all went up and all the people in the group got it done except for me. I would I just refuse because I'm like if in the small chance that this is real I don't want to fucking know if I'm gonna die or if I'm gonna not get married or get married or I don't want to know yeah. I just want to play this out how yeah. it's meant to happen you know yeah. and so this scared the fuck out of me and then when we're doing it she's asking you know she you can you can she's really good at what she does but you can tell like you can tell what she's doing yeah the way she talks and everything it's like a David Blaine type thing it's yeah. just a it's just like you know, a lot of it is when when something's not working that she's saying, we go, no, she just all of a sudden jumps to something else. Yeah. And then we're like, yeah. And she's yeah. like, doubles yep. down on that. Yeah. And then yeah. so we're only thinking about the things that are, are making positives. sense yeah. and, and we can relate to. Mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. the whole experience feels like she really spoke to you. Because mm -hmm. there was a couple moments in the video where she's like, are you guys uh, dating or or do you, she said like, she was basically trying to guess yeah. at things in our life, you yeah. know? Yeah, yeah. But the way tarot cards lay out is that they can have multiple meanings. So yes. it gives you a yeah, you know, yeah. a little tree. Yeah, a little. It gives you room to work. But 
who knows? Because Mercury is in retrograde right, right yeah, now. And yeah. so she said the whole thing would be kind of what, unstable. Yeah. She said the whole session would be unstable. A bit misunderstood. Misunderstood. So maybe I misunderstood the whole thing. Maybe yeah. it is real. Yeah. And you just you just weren't vibing properly. As long as I don't have ass cancer, <laughs> I'm fine, you know? <laughs> that will never not be funny. I know. Tarot card readers saying you got ass cancer. <laughs> never not be funny. <laughs> Uh, Damn, bro! Shout out to Owani, dog. Yeah, that was that was a good one. It was really fun. It was really fun. I had a good time, and I hope people liked the video. Uh, everyone, I also feel like it's important to say a lot of people are like, you know, dude, why haven't you guys done it? That's cringe because it's you know sometimes you don't want to fuck with a good thing. I know. You know, to just just to just beat it to a pulp is the you know the antithesis to doing. I will say this though. Because I said the same thing last night. I was doing a speaking thing. Manhattan College. Shout out to them. Nice. Catholic College. I couldn't swear. Oh, nice. It was hilarious. I would have got up there and be like, fucking shit, bitch, pussy. It's exactly what I did. I'm, as soon as the guy told me I can't swear, and he's like the student advisor or whatever. He's like, you can't really, we don't suggest these swear. I'm like, this is a bit already. <laughs> I mean, it's just the easiest bit in the entire world. <laughs> what the hey, guys, they said I can't swear. What and the then fuck I'm is just good? The whole time, yeah, yeah. So what the fuck is good? No, the whole thing, the whole time I'm like swearing and then I'm like, ah, fuck piss you know yeah. anyways what was i saying uh oh yeah yeah they people ask me you know when's that cringe coming back whatever and i said said the same thing i'm like listen i we don't want to be in a position where people are like oh you should have stopped doing this a while ago yes. we want to be like we want to be in the position where people are like please bring this back because it means we left a good taste in their mouth yeah that being said if the right video comes up sure if we have an if we get another maddie smokes or we get another you <laughs> video then absolutely we'll yeah. hit that again of course but you know you know it's, it, sometimes shit is just better left i think it's better to not force a reboot you're better just experimenting on shit and then just finding that next thing yeah i think just just keep with the growth uh, yeah you know hey, do you see the new borat yeah we watched half of it last night it I, is fucking hilarious you didn't think so i think it's better than the original what? oh i didn't watch it oh, okay, okay, okay i just okay, okay. i just thought i just saw there were like mixed reviews yeah but that just made me think when you when you reboot something, the thing you always run the risk of is people have that memory of what it was like. Mm. And and just, this is not a big brain observation, but living up to that, you're better off just reframing whatever idea you have and not ruining what was good about the original. Mm -hmm. You know, unless, unless you're so confident, it's like, man, I, you know, I could do this over and over and over again, which sure you might, but. Just, just seeing that people were so mixed about Borat was, made me think, like, ah, yeah, maybe, maybe that's one of those things where he just should have did it as a different character. Yeah, you know, well, I was, I was really surprised because we watched the first one recently, and I was like, God damn, that's why it's one of the most legendary movies ever. Mm -hmm. We watched it, we were, you know, floored. You know and that then, town had no idea that what that was for. Which town? Where he claimed like this is my hometown. And, really? Yeah. He, I think they sued him or something. He conned them all. Like he, he, he told them it was for something else, completely different. <laughs> Wait, where did he film it? What town was it? Uh, hold on, original Borat Village. But I was gonna say, like, so going into the second one, I had the same sort of like notion where I was like, he probably should have just left it. And yeah, yeah. But then watching it again, I was like, oh my god, he's still just as sharp as he was, and the jokes are still. Just as good. Like, just even even in the first, like, minute and a half. Yeah. He talks about how he, dis, in the first one, he disgraced his country so much. Yeah. That people were, like, committing suicide by jumping off the highest buildings in Kazakhstan. And it's just a video of this guy jumping off a one and a half story building yeah. and getting up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, even shit like that. Okay, so it was in Romania. Oh, okay. And... Um, location scouts didn't go too deep into Transylvania to find the spot. So I mean, it's less than five miles away from blah, blah, blah. Um, okay. So this is all, this is all the location. Uh, so we, we watched, wait, 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 wait. um, they're going to sue the Romanian village of Glod stands in a film. Okay. Their town literally means mud. Um, so they paid them. The people will do anything for money. Of course, they're going to take part in the film. So the deputy mayor and the five-towner. 
Um, huh. Um, so we watched a um, we watched a deleted scene from the newest one. Yeah. Which do you remember when there was all that shit on Twitter about like he hosted a Trump rally or like a pro yeah, yeah, pro yeah. gun yeah NRA something yeah and he it was, was like, like a pro Trump thing for people with guns or something like that mm -hmm. yeah and he was like singing to them and then they all found out that it was I guess like protesters showed up yeah. and they started telling the 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 gun guys that that was Sasha Baron Cohen okay it's not like a you know that yeah not the guy that they thought it was and so people started storming the stage and there's one guy went for his gun and one of the security guys like stopped him. And so Sha Sasha jumped in the van and he closed the door and he's like, get, he's like getting below the windows. And then he's like, go, 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 go. Let's get the fuck out of here. So he was on Stephen Colbert. He said, this is the only time when he was filming it that he feared for his life. Wow. was this. And they cut the scene from the movie. So he, he played it on Stephen Colbert and he's in the van like, just go, 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 go. And one of the Trump guys rips the door open. Sasha gets up, grabs the door and slams it and then screams at the guy, go, go. And he's wearing a bulletproof vest the whole time underneath his costume. <laughs> it's fucking crazy. Wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Wow. Ripping the door open. That's crazy. Yeah. What are you going to do? Sh shoot him? Yeah. In yeah. a van? Like, <laughs> well, how would that, what's the preceding 30 seconds going to look like? like pam, pam, pam. It's like the dude. Oh. That, that way. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Oops. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, bro, that's like that dude that went viral on Twitter where he approached those, I don't know, I don't, yeah, I don't even want to comment on this. I just know that he approached some people protesting and he like pulls out a gun. But the funniest part to me, I mean, nothing really funny about that situation, but the lady filming it goes up to him and the people he's with and she just keeps repeating, what's your name? 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 And the people willingly giving their names like without thinking about it. And <laughs> I'm just like, what a weird moment of cooperation in the whole thing. Everyone's screaming. The guy's got to go, yeah, what, yeah, what's your name? Daniel Michael the II. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> it was so fucking strange. He's like, my name is, and he just says it. <laughs> I'm like, so strange to just like answer that. In yeah, the <laughs> that is pretty weird. <laughs> it's just like, it's just like, like nothing is going on in, in his brain that makes sense and then he just zones in to like say his fucking name and then he goes back to like bizarro mode <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't believe that shit it was just your program to answer yeah, that question yeah. what's your name Cody yeah fuck fuck shit fuck shouldn't have done just, that damn it fuck <laughs> what why did I do ah you know he's thinking about that afterward he's like why did I say my name why did I say my name? <laughs> it was so fucking stupid so stupid that's that's the shit that happens in a relationship. You ever just like you just minding your biz, and then you know Kelsey's like, "Can like, can you do this thing?" And you just do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so like sometimes I go into the kitchen to just you know do my one thing, and now I've done five things, yeah. and at the end of it, I go, "How the fuck did I just do five <laughs> things?" Yeah, yeah. And you know, then I turn. I'm like, "You want to come over here and do this shit?" <laughs> She's like, we, in, a, in a second, can you do this thing? And I do the sixth thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway. We we delegate work based on uh, whose lap the dog is on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whoever, Always. Whoever's lap the dog is on, the other person has to do everything. Yeah, yeah. And we really take advantage of it, you know? It's like, yeah. give me a water. Oh, buy you up. Can you cook me a fucking steak? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can also, like, build that shelf over there. Just build the shelf, yeah. I and can. then some skirt steaks. Actually, it would be great. <laughs> Just, yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's a good sauce from the restaurant down the street. You can go pick that up. <laughs> yeah. The thing is, Ollie never sits on my lap during those hours, you know? Oh, okay. Yeah. So yeah. I, I never get that benefit. Is he a lap guy? Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Are all small dogs lap guys? Is that just like a thing yeah, that they do? Yeah. 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 <clears throat> Recently, he's been, you know, I don't know. He's kind of like a, he, he's, he's a little bit, you're selective mm. with, his, with his lapping, mm. you know. A lot of times he'll just lay next to you if you try to put him on your lap. He goes, mm -mm. Mm. yeah, really, yeah. Aww. So if you get a lap moment, it's like, don't fuck this up for me. <laughs> you think that's because he's get, like getting older? I feel like dogs when they grow up a little bit, they're like they don't want to deal with people anymore. They're they're down to just be them by themselves. I mean, they have their little corner and they have their spot on the rug. Yeah, it's their shit. 
No, I, I think he just prefers to be in snowball mode all the time. Yeah. He always wants to lay up against you. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's fair. Yeah. He's very protective of his, of his goods. Yeah. His ballet. Okay. I think that's just from being in the street, you know? Yeah. Because that's like a dog thing, right? Like exposing this part, like the, the belly. Mm, is it vulnerable? Yeah. Yes. He'll Like he'll almost never roll on his back. Really? Yeah. Yeah. He's like, you know, it's like he did a bid. It's the same shit when he eats. I mean, small dogs eat fast, but I always joke that it's like, bro, you're not in prison anymore. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because he just fucking... <laughs> And if you touch him, he's ah! yeah, <laughs> yeah. We've we've now ne we've never seen Chili be aggressive ever, ever until until <laughs> these little chicken bones. Oh, we started giving him these little chicken bones because he was like obsessed with them. Yeah, and he would like deep throat them. <laughs> oh damn it! Like straight up, they're like this long. One time, I opened his mouth and I saw the tip of it in the back. Oh, and I grabbed it and <laughs> pulled out the whole fucking thing. Dude was just chilling with this. Like six inch thing in his throat. All right, guys, when money's tight, investing in yourself may not be top of mind, but mental health is a necessity, not a luxury. Yes. And guess what? Taking care of yourself doesn't have to break the bank. Investing in your mental health has long-term benefits. And with Talkspace, it can actually be affordable. Change is constant, but in the new normal, it feels like there's something new to grapple with every day. Mm -hmm. With Talkspace, with Talkspace Online Therapy, connect with a licensed therapist for a fraction of the price of in-person therapy. Get matched with your perfect therapist from the comfort of your device and reach out 24-7 whenever something's on your mind. Yeah, um, you guys know I started therapy recently. And listen, I think that don't, let it, don't convince yourself that you need to sit in the office or you have to have a deep, crazy one-on-one. -on -one. Sometimes therapy is just talking with someone and understanding your own feelings and understanding what's actually going on in your own mind. It could be surface level. It could be just a little bit deeper than that. But sometimes even that is enough to make you feel really good. So I would say don't hesitate, even if you're texting someone that you could trust. Uh, Cause you know, at least with Talkspace, um, uh, they, it's, it costs a lot less and they have a, a fucking huge net. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> effing, effing. They have an effing huge network. Okay. Um, they can, cover over 40 million people for online therapy through insurance and uh they have a massive network of licensed therapists too okay they got all kinds of specialties uh, not limited to but they fo they have focuses on depression anxiety substance abuse trauma relationship issues food and eating and much more and it's secure talkspace yeah. is secure and private using the latest encryption technology to store client information the bottom line is that we all need someone to talk to. Yeah. Talkspace wants to give us the support we deserve at a price we can afford. And as a listener of this podcast, you get $100 off your first month on Talkspace. To match with your perfect therapist, go to Talkspace.com or download the app. Uh, make sure to use the code TMG to get 100% off your first month and show your support for the show. That's TMG at Talkspace.com. Have you seen Social Dilemma on Netflix? No. It's pretty interesting. It's basically, they kind of go into the ethics with, engineers and designers and like okay. product people you know yeah. you know like when, when you work at a startup you're pretty committed to it and then you don't like really realize what you're making yeah you're just like trying to do the job oh yeah i made a gambling app one time yeah yeah well so in the documentary okay the insiders explain how social media is engineered to exploit users for data for profit okay they call it surveillance capitalism <laughs> uh look i'm cool with normal capitalism all right where I'm a willing to participate in the transaction, right? I go to Best Buy, I buy something goofy. Okay, that's my, that's me. Okay. Okay. Right. But I don't appreciate it being done under the hood. All right. That's why you need a layer of protection with none other than ExpressVPN. <laughs> we got punked, people. Owned. <laughs> Every time you use the internet, big tech companies mine your data by tracking your searches, messages, and video history. This is true. I used to do this. I used to literally write code that harvested data. So I've... Be yeah. on the other side of this, and it really oh, yeah. happens. Oh, yeah. We're taking all of it. <clears throat> yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> but when you run ExpressVPN on your device, it hides your IP address, which uh, websites can use to personally identify you. That makes your activity more difficult to trace and sell to advertisers. You know, mm -hmm. every time you're like fucking you're in your car and you Google, oh, well, it's a good place to stop for, you know, a bad boy's treat, maybe, yeah. you know? Yeah. And all of a sudden you get an Instagram ad for a cake or something like that. That's all cookies, you yeah. know? It's online cookies as well as <laughs> real life cookies. Um, ExpressVPN encrypts 100% of your internet data to keep you safe from hackers and prying eyes. Many VPNs slow down your internet, but ExpressVPN is incredibly fast and easy to use. Just tap one button and you're protected. That's true. Um, use it every time I travel. Use it when I'm at home. Uh, I love it. It's just so simple. And I love how easy it is to just select different locations where you're from. You feel like being from fucking Europe? Go for it. Yeah. You want to be from Kentucky? Mm -hmm. Maybe not Kentucky, but you want to be from 
Florida? Yeah. You can. I don't know why you'd want to be. Yeah. You can. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Why would you want to do that? <laughs> so but it would, it'll route your traffic through the Florida <laughs> server and then it looks like you're there. So if you don't like the idea of tech companies exploiting your personal info, then visit expressvpn.com slash TMG right now. You can get three months of ExpressVPN for free. That's E-X-P-R-E-S-S-V-P-N.com slash TMG to protect your data. Okay. ExpressVPN.com slash TMG to learn more. Our podcast is literally a movie. I don't understand how the fuck this happens. Our podcast is literally a movie. We have to do it in scenes. We we spent so long this morning fixing the fucking mics, making sure everything was good, because the last two episodes, one was blurry, last one my audio was fucked up, so this one, not going to happen. I think it's power. I think there's a power issue in here. There's a, and Yeah, so what happened was we went we recorded the f- full fucking episode. Yeah. We talked about Chili deep-throating his bone. We talked about uh, Noel coming on my sweet treat show talked about his music project dropping on friday and then we realized it didn't record the last 18 minutes of it <laughs> like we we're, it's cursed it's yeah no we need to find a new spot dude which by the way maybe we should do that maybe we should have everybody let's just dox our our future location shout out to the boy aaron for hooking us up with this fat ass fat ass list of spots yeah yeah, let's not dox. Let's not dox it though. Um, no, we should put the addresses for, <laughs> for all the prospective locations and let everybody know. Um, fuck, man, we had a good eighteen minutes too. I know it was a great conversation. We were talking about how all VFX is outsourced to India. Yeah, what the fuck? And and oh, what up? So he uh, coming up with a video on Friday. Yeah, it's just yeah, it's it's heavy. It's, I basically, I said that I unintentionally signed myself up for entry level Avengers level VFX because I thought the idea would be easy to execute. And then turns out you need like 10 people in India to do it, which, and I'll say this because, you know, uh, it was India. We were sitting there after the fact, we didn't pay much, you know, we, it was a lo- oh, like so much less than we thought it was going to be. But we were thinking, man, I bet you we could have haggled okay. just because that's within the culture. To yeah, yeah, yeah. And they, they nailed us with the most easy technique, you know, because we started at one price okay. and then they, they ramped it up. Okay. And then uh, they said, oh, yeah, after looking at the footage, we think it's going to be this. And we said, we need it by this day. They said, oh, if you want it by that day, then you, you got to go with this number. And we just said, we we came under like a little bit, uh-huh. and she just the contact replied, sure. <laughs> so we're like, ah, oh, fucking, oh, I hate that. Oh, we got <laughs> got. You're like, actually, yeah. Uh, can we go like lower even? <laughs> <sighs> yeah. Uh, wait, can you start the thing? No, unplug it. I don't have the thing. Yeah. Oh, okay. What it's about? Fine. It's fine. Um, Look. Oh, right here. Put it right here. <clears throat> Sorry guys, you know, this this because our podcast is a movie now, we have to pause for a <laughs> Kyle cross frame. That's fine. It's good. <laughs> we, we had it. Well, man, we already did the good 18 minutes. This can be just the shitty <laughs> just throw it away. Like just fucking, throw it away. Yeah, fucking <laughs> it's just, it's fucking killing time at this point, it's dude. It's just upsetting. <laughs> no, it was such good just, It was great conversation. Uh, uh ah! so it was wrapped around it's the light. Tangled. I love this. <laughs> <laughs> this is great man people like seeing the behind the scenes you the know? bts by the way we got um we got some oh i just mean like move the timer oh, we got like put the so timer weird. over here we got a we crispy can see we got a crispy set of photos on the way for all the 1k donators you know we're not just we're not just putting you as a little oh yeah yeah we're not yeah, we're yeah, not yeah. doing a little yeah, yeah, tiny yeah. ass yeah you know a little six by six up here we're doing fucking big shit yeah you know you're gonna be like oh yeah, it stretches perfect. Okay, you're, yeah. you're gonna be in this bitch. Yeah, you hear that? I hear that now. That's power. Get, no, it's it's because it's resting on the cord. I think that's why. No, that's it. Hold it. Hold so. it up in the air for a second. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> See, oh. it got louder. This is crazy. Ah! Hold on. Hold on. I think just unplug it. No, hold on. Well, guys, I'll take this as an opportunity to do some stand-up um, that I haven't I haven't worked out, you know? Okay. Here's the thing. 
I think if you're a certain level of pale, having sex with you counts as necrophilia. If like your skin is at a certain level of translucency, it's necrophilia. Like if you got like big cadaver energy, it's like fucking something dead. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> if if the color of your teeth and your skin match, th that is like heavy. Matter of fact, if your teeth are darker than your skin, that's cadaver stuff. You got that big cadaver pussy. <laughs> <laughs> or dick. I think I said this last time. Yeah, I think you did. <laughs> Why do I remember Jess talking about this? I mean, I, I said it in the studio the other day. With, with <clears throat> oh, yeah, yeah. That's what it is. Yeah, yeah we could say that. We we had, a, we had a session with Baby No Money. Yeah, we made a great, great song. So I, that's what I was... Yeah. Never mind. We can talk about it after. <laughs> so we go on to the... Should we... Should we... Um, should we first watch this Lil Pump Trump video again? No. It's funny. Come on, put it on. Just the audio of it? No, no, no. Put the play the thing. Play the thing. Hey yo. Gotta say it's Trump 2020, bitch. Fuck I look like paying an extra 33 in tax for Biden, bitch ass nigga. Fuck Sleepy Joe, nigga. Trump 2020, bitch. Ah <laughs> Here's the thing, like he's half Cuban. So, you know, it's not crazy. Why? Yeah, Cubans uh they have a tendency to be conservative. Really? Yeah. Or it's con it's 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 not uncommon for a Cuban to lean conservative. Jorge Masvidal. Yeah. He's a big Trumper. O openly. Really? Yeah. Oh, we can talk about the fight. We didn't even talk about it. Oh, oh, oh! How do we forget? You know, I just you know I just let it. I just let it. Ooh. Yeah, I, I freaked out when I texted you. I was like, "When's when does it start?" And you were like, "Main main card starts." 11 a.m. Yeah, I thought you meant main event. So I oh. bought it. I was driving back from Huntington Beach and I bought it in the car. <laughs> I bought it twice. Because freaked out. The ESPN app is the worst fucking thing on Piece planet Earth. Dog shit. And so I bought the fight and then it didn't register. And so I bought it twice. It yeah. showed up on my fucking statement twice, of course. Paid a hundred and whatever sixty dollars for that fight. Yeah. But um, and then I watched all the undercard or like the main card events. Yeah. And then it was a it was a good fight. I mean, you know. Uh, Nate Diaz didn't think so. What did he say? Nate always has shit to say after fights. What did he say? He, he tweeted 29 and 1, implying that if Khabib fought him, Khabib would lose. <laughs> <laughs> he always says some shit like that. Always. Yeah. But you know, that's a guy I'm not ever going to talk shit about because, you know, he will, you know, that's the dude who would buy a ticket to a meet and greet and be like, what's up, pussy? <laughs> I mean, he was about to smack Bieber. <laughs> Was he really? Yeah, they got into a shit, like a little thing at the club. <laughs> so funny. Beating up Justin Bieber. Dog, he, he went on like late, I forgot whose show, if it was Fallon or whatever, and he's talking about Justin Bieber, but the shit that killed me is just, is Nate Diaz stayed true to himself, and he's just wearing like a double X footlocker <laughs> tee and jeans and shoes. Like he didn't, you know, people think late night, they get dressed the fuck up. Yeah. He was in like, I'm about to go do fucking blue collar work after this shit. <laughs> wow. But yeah, no, that fight was... um. Khabib has insane pace, man. Dude, I couldn't believe it. The way he was just running him down the yeah. whole time. Like, Justin, it just looked exhausting Justin, for the other guy. The other guy's just overwhelmed. Yeah. But Justin, yeah. Gaethje, he, Gaethje looks super tired. I mean, he wasn't, he probably wasn't that tired, but he looked like he was, you know, he was like, he took a big breath after that first round. He's like, oh, oh fuck. yeah. 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 It, Shit. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, I think that was the moment where he was like, oh my God, this is way harder than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> like, it just looked like a predator stalking his prey. Mm -hmm. Prey mm -hmm. just trying to fucking stay alive, mm -hmm. you know? The not that not that Justin didn't put up a good fight. He definitely, like, got some good shots in, but... Yeah, yeah. It was pretty clear from the beginning who was winning that. I mean, the thing that everyone talks about is Khabib's strength on the ground. Yeah. And it's so funny, too. You know, there's... There are all these clips of Khabib like talking to opponents as he's like beating their ass, which I which I love, you know, like with Connor. You remember that shit? What was he saying? He's like socking him in the face. He's like, well, you want to talk? Let's talk now. <laughs> oh, let's talk now. <laughs> Connor's like, please don't kill me. Literally said that. Please don't kill me. He did? Yeah. Please don't kill me. He said that in the fight? In the fight. Please don't kill me. He stood up. He's like, it's just business. It's just business. Oh my God. That's fucking awesome. Yeah. Yeah. That's sad. It is sad. Damn. 
You know, I, I feel like that's why Connor's like going around punching old men and shit. Yeah. I think he had his spirit broken yeah. that fight. Damn. Yeah. Dude, fucking, fucking the Nelk video of them in Abu Dhabi. Dude. They get a second with Khabib. Oh, I didn't <laughs> watch it yet. Kyle tries to like sort of prank him. Not really. He he basically goes on, he like improv something where he's like, he's like my, my, um, my girlfriend fucked Jorge Masvidal. I'm just wondering what tips would you give someone who's who's really trying to do their first fight and like because I want to fight this guy. Yeah. He's like, I've been practicing flying knees for the past like week every morning. I'm figure I just hit him with one of those. Yeah. And Khabib just doesn't understand any of it. And he just goes, Yeah, that that might work. <laughs> he's like, Cool, thanks. And yeah. Shake hands and he dips. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. that might work. Yeah. yeah. I mean, dude, Khabib is like straight out of a cartoon. I like know. his commitment to fighting and oh, shit. Yeah. It's just yeah, he's like the, the like, I don't want to say villain, but that's the the way he kind of carries himself. Like every every fighter is like, yeah, man, my warrior spirit, dude, you know, just I just got to keep going. I fucking love the fight game, this and that. And he's like, I come here to prove to my mother that I'm best fighter. Yeah. And I go home. Yeah. You're like, yeah, yeah. oh, all right. Yeah, he's shit. the type of dude that just would like live in the woods, <laughs> but be totally happy with it and 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 be really good at it you know like oh, he would yeah. just commit himself to something yeah he just and would be totally yeah. at peace with whatever it is you know yeah. what i'm saying he he walked out and, and spock and k are watching at our place and k's like do you think he fucks i'm like i think could be fucks dude <laughs> yeah i don't know if he has a girlfriend actually i think he's too committed to fighting i think that's the only thing on his mind at all times oh no he has a girlfriend. how do i be a better fighter no he's a girlfriend but yeah yeah Nurma, Nurma they have, Gomidova? They have, Nurma man, Gomidova? Man, the, the, the naming convention is just so Nurma. tough. Um, that might work. Yeah, yeah that might work. <laughs> Sad shit, though, you know, about his dad. Yeah, so I had no idea why he, like, started, you know, breaking down and crying afterwards. And then, and then I remember, oh, uh, yeah, I Googled it and I was like, right, his dad died recently. Yeah. So he was, like, fighting for his dad and then. And then you fucking retired. Did people think that was going to happen? Uh, people have speculated for a minute that he might he might retire. Okay. And there were like rumors of it like a while back. Um, but, you know, uh, I, I don't know if they expected it this suddenly. You know, I think people still really wanted to see him fight Tony Ferguson just for what it's worth. Yeah, but I would love that. I don't know, man. I mean, I don't know. You know, Justin was able to stop Tony. But Justin's fight style is a lot different. So, yeah, I mean, that that could have been crazy. I don't know. Tony might not be a different, might, might not be the same guy after that fight. You just never know. Yeah. But John Jones has just been all over Twitter making it about himself. Who's John Jones? Who's John Jones? Yeah. Bro. Bro, what? You've never seen John Jones fight? Mm, maybe. I don't know. Oh, man. I don't know much about fighting. That's like the villain of UFC. Though. Okay. Yeah. Um, what was he saying? You know, oh, you know, uh, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll let you have this moment, and you're not the best pound for pound. You haven't been tested the same way. I've, I've had more title defenses and this and that, and you know, now all these people are arguing with him. Like, bro, you fought fucking cans. The people you fought weren't even good. It's like literally everyone Khabib has fought is like a fucking killer. You know, this and that, and uh, so, yeah, he's just like creating drama, but. You know, John Jones is controversial because he basically he popped for roids. Okay. I want to say twice. Dang. Uh, that could be wrong. I, but the, the big one he popped for, and uh, yeah, twice. Like, I think the first time it was like boner pills. Second time. My it, man. Yeah. My man. Well, that's what he's claiming. Yeah. You know, the second time, you know, he had a picogram. There was this whole thing about he had a picogram what the of fuck a steroid, is that? like the smallest. Oh, I see. Okay, you know, trying to say like, oh, it's a picogram yeah, from yeah, someone. Yeah. They, they're trying yeah. to make it a conspiracy. Sounds like a fucking Pokemon. Yeah, yeah, and um, so you know he, yeah, he's got a lot of other controversial shit, like got in a hit and run with a pregnant woman, and he fleed the scene, and he <sighs> came back just to fetch drugs out of his car. Ah, oh. yeah, just like you know, whatever. This is John Jones. John Jones, man. John Jones. Yeah. So I'm gonna Google him. Maybe I'll recognize him. He uh Yeah. You know, he you know, people are like, bro, you like you straight up got like, a pop for cheating and 
It's crazy because Dana continued to support him after Oh, all yeah, that. yeah, yeah, right, right. You told me about this guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was a big deal, but you know, it was just fun. <laughs> it's seen Dana White ripping shots with the Nelk boys. Yeah. So funny, dude. So weird. That, I was going to say that this fighter, Tai Tuivasa, he finishes his fight, he hops the fence, and he's yelling to Steve, we'll do it. He's I like, know. <laughs> and he's then like, Shuey, Shuey. Yeah, and was like, and now he's doing a Shuey with the Nelk boys. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, fucking DC. <laughs> like, the Nelk boys, man, this and that. I'm like, hearing DC say the Nelk boys is... <laughs> What That's so fucking... funny. And now they're doing a fucking merch line together. Did you yeah. see that? Yeah. Genius. Yeah. Oh, they're going to cake off that, dude. Yeah. You know, I met the guy who did... I don't even know if I should be fucking saying this shit. Say it, dude. This guy was fucking really intimidating, bro. Um, he, he was the first merch partner for the UFC. Okay. It's just like... Uh, it's like it's, I don't even want to say his name. Or like what he is. I had a I had a brief meeting with him. That guy intense as when fuck. did you meet him? Uh two, three weeks ago. Oh, okay. Yeah, it was like it was like, you know, the buddy of mine who like is just like kind of deep in the merch production world and it was just kinda of like a yeah, let's like let's see what he's about. And we like walked out that meeting, we we're like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I don't I don't know about all that. Damn. Yeah. It was a uh, yeah intimidating ass dude but um yeah nelk boys uh yeah they're gonna they're gonna cake off that oh yeah dude that's good that's nuts that's nuts <laughs> i love i love shout out jesse man i love that he's just home chilling skating <laughs> well he tested his uh one of their editors tested positive for covid and i guess jesse was with him so oh. neither of them could go yeah wow yeah wow but um anyways all right so that i mean i wish we fucking had the last 18 minutes but that was fun too yeah yeah you know yeah go go watch this music video i'm, I'm <laughs> dropping to see if you can spot any wires yeah <laughs> we go back to india be like what the fuck man? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is not what i paid for i doubt it i fucking doubt it what you think it like you're saying they did a great job insanely yeah, good job yeah, yeah there's there's one shot and if you get this one good for you good for you yeah that was an impossible edit good for you if you get that okay one. yeah is this like a little easter egg yeah a little easter egg is yeah. this like a release two goats one with one on it one with three on it so people you know you never heard that senior prank nah kids release they say they release three goats into the school but they just do two and one of them has one and the other one has three written on it oh yeah so yeah principal yeah. is constantly like you know yeah. trying to find the second one no this is like this is like this, this second goat exists but it's like three frames worth okay got it so yeah a little scavenger hunt for you guys yeah I, I know one of you vfx dweebs is gonna go through the whole thing like frame by frame like <laughs> i'm gonna find it <laughs> i'm gonna find it go watch that shit guys and we'll see you in the bonus we're gonna pop on into the bonus right now all right gang